What if I told you this one barrel of oil could power a jet engine, produce a thousand plastic bottles, or heat an entire home through winter? Oil has been the fuel of humanity's progress. For over a century, it's powered our industries, our cities, our travel, and our way of life. It's in nearly everything we touch, from plastics to clothing to fertilizer, and even the roads we drive on. We didn't just build our world with oil, we built it around oil. But what if tomorrow we just stopped? No oil, no backup, just off. Let's see what happens. In the first week, chaos begins. Oil refineries, which convert crude oil into usable fuels, grind to a halt. No crude in means no fuel out. And without fuel, anything that moves, stops. Cars, planes, ships, gone. Gas stations run dry within days. And the roads clear because no one can get anywhere. Airports shut down and shipping ports sit still. That Amazon delivery you were waiting for is never arriving. With supply chains broken, critical goods stop moving. The grocery stores are raided and emptied by the end of the week, and panic spreads faster than it did during COVID. Hospitals run low on medicine and ambulances can't refuel. And even basic medical supplies like IV bags or oxygen tubes don't arrive because it's all run on oil. Anything that relies on movement doesn't anymore, unless it's on foot or horseback. After the first month, there is total disruption. Factories slow or shut down. Even if they can still make their products, they can't deliver them. So the global economies begin to flatline. Battery-powered devices and electrical start to die. And surprisingly, even renewable systems begin to fail. Because building and maintaining wind turbines, solar panels, and even electric vehicles all rely on oil-powered supply chains. And the biggest blow? Food. Modern farms rely heavily on synthetic fertilizers, which are made from oil and natural gas. Without them, crop yields collapse, and what little is left may last only a season, but no longer. By the end of the first year, it's almost a complete collapse. Billions of people have food and heating shortages, and every government across the world becomes unstable and especially oil-reliant nations like Russia or Saudi Arabia face total collapse. Developed countries may hold on a little bit longer, but the global ripple effect would be undeniable. So should we stop oil? Obviously, this is a hypothetical situation. We're not flipping a switch tomorrow, but it does reveal a hard truth. We live in a world built on oil, and pretending we can quit cold turkey is not only unrealistic, but it's dangerous. Ironically, oil might actually be the tool that helps us move past oil. If we can use it to build better, to create eco-friendly fertilizers, scale renewables faster, redesign materials and innovate transport, then maybe, just maybe, we can start walking away from it. Oil isn't the enemy. It's one of humanity's most powerful tools. But with a great tool like oil comes great consequences. And we've ignored those consequences for too long. Now that we finally see the cost of oil, maybe it's time to stop letting oil control our lives and start building one we can actually live in. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and what you think the worst part of no oil would be. And hit subscribe if you want more videos like this. Thank you for watching.